Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, the latest launch by SpaceX. Today, on Friday, March 24th, at 11.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, SpaceX launched 56 Starlink Internet satellites into low Earth orbit from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The launch was a spectacular sight as we saw the Falcon 9 rocket soar into the sky, approaching the speed of sound and the phase of maximum aerodynamic pressure. At an altitude of more than 20 miles, the Falcon 9 rocket's first stage shut down and jettisoned while the second stage vacuum rated Merlin 1D engine ignited in preparation for its six minute firing to reach a preliminary parking orbit. As the second stage continued firing, the first stage began its flip maneuver to fly with engines forward and descent towards SpaceX drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX confirmed the Falcon 9's payload fairing has jettisoned and the rocket's upper stage followed the expected trajectory, firing normally and flying at an altitude of around 100 miles with more than 200,000 pounds of thrust. As the Falcon 9's upper stage continued firing into orbit with Starlink satellites, the 15-story tall first stage plunged toward SpaceX drone ship. We anxiously waited for the landing burn and were thrilled to hear that SpaceX confirmed a good landing of the Falcon 9's first stage on a drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, northeast of the Bahamas. This was the 10th flight of the reusable booster and the 181st successful landing of a Falcon booster to date. Shortly after landing of the first stage, SpaceX confirmed the Falcon 9 second stage completed its first burn to deliver 56 more Starlink internet satellite into a parking orbit. Another engine burn was planned at T plus 54 minutes. The Starlink satellites were expected to release from the front end of the rocket all at once instead of one at a time or in pairs as spacecraft often do when separating from a launch vehicle. The Falcon 9 upper stage was to fire thrusters to put itself in a spin before deploying the satellites. Then the rocket was expected to release retention rods that hold the satellites in place on top of the vehicle. The momentum from the rotation helped the satellites disperse before the craft individually activated their propulsion systems to begin climbing towards their final operating altitude roughly 320 miles above Earth. SpaceX said injecting the satellites into a low orbit would allow time for checkouts before orbit raising using their Krypton ion thrusters. After a brief restart, the Falcon 9 rocket's upper stage engine successfully injected the 56 Starlink internet satellites into the proper orbit for separation, which was confirmed by SpaceX. With these satellites, SpaceX has now launched 4,161 Starlink satellites to date, including prototypes and failed spacecraft already retired from the constellation. And that's it for today's episode. And stay tuned for more exciting news and updates.